<sighs> What's going on, y'all? You know, shout out to Mediocre Tutorials and Reviews. He put out a video a couple days ago saying how that man in the suit, we all know who you're talking about, the, the, the image consultant, we all know who I'm talking about, is just telling brothers stuff that their daddy should have been telling them. And that, unfortunately, is true. Now, coming from somebody who grew up, um, you know, pretty much widowed, because my dad died at a, when I was about, what, 11 years old, maybe? Going on 12. I've always had someone in my life. I always had male reinforcement in my life, be it positive, indirectly positive, or negative. It shaped my whole spectrum on how to be a man. It really has. And then as I got older, I came into my own. And I started realizing that a lot of the rhetoric that I've been hearing from the women in my life, now it matches up with what a lot of my uncles and a lot of my peers have been saying to me growing up. I just became an amalgam of all that. But some people never get it. Some people never get it. And yes, I am not impervious to drama. I'm human like everybody else. But I can tell you from my own misdeeds and from my own mistakes I've made, I can sit here and tell things. And I'm still climbing out of certain holes. I can still sit here and give my perspective on it and come off as if I no, because I do know I went through it. I'm not just I'm not one of these holier than thou type of people out there. And say what you want about that brother in the suit. But this dude is getting paid saying stuff that I've known. You know how many times I sit here and I think I hear a lot of brothers who don't know me from a can of paint got far, far bigger channels than me. And I can sit here and I can almost predict what they're going to say next in a sentence. That's because real recognizes real. We all, as men, think the same but act differently when it all comes down to it. Overall, that's how it is. And I see a lot of guys who have been misguided in their life through the by their by the women in their life, meaning their parent, who's the sole parent. And we still deal with a lot of brothers who don't realize that they were being molded and raised to either be like the man that walked out on her or you were being mistreated because you look just like the man that walked out on her. And she can't stand to see your face. Sad as it is, it's a reality. See, this dog always does this when I'm recording something. Because there's always people in my house. On the side of my house, my neighbor's always moving. And he wants to be Mr. Guard Dog. Right, Petey? But anyway, like I was saying, for years, I've wondered that about myself, too. Because I'm human. Was I treated differently? And then I found out it was far, something far more serious and far more realistic going on with in the personal life of my siblings hence the difference and then also you have to factor with you got mothers out here who don't who do the best they can they see and realize all the mistakes they made growing up in life and now they are smothering their children they're smothering their children then their children are gonna just push back and the cycle never ends because guess who was that? Guess who was pushing back when they were young? That single mother or that mother who smothers that child. She was pushing back the same way. Now she sees the patterns, but instead of handling it different than her mom, she handles it even worse, if not the same. And a lot of daughters end up that way. A lot of daughters end up going right down that same path. Because they see that she made it work. And then when she, the daughter, gives up trying to be something more than what her mother was. Or something better. 
because her mother, even sometimes I'm, the mom don't even teach, want them to be better. They just want you to get out the house when you get 18. We hear this, a lot of this about, you know, we, we get them through the 18 years and then we don't have to work. No, 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 no. It's you are a parent all the time. I'm not saying you are financially responsible for that kid for the rest of their life. No, you are a parent until the day you're in that grave. You are a parent until the day you're in that grave. You know, case in point, look at the whole thing with boys in the hood. Difference in fathers. Difference in fathers, difference in treatments. Look how she treated Doughboy compared to Ricky. And even at the end of the movie, he said it was a cold day in the hell when the day my mom said she ever loved me. A lot of guys have gone through that. They, they don't know how to deal with a lot of black American mothers that way. They don't know how to deal with it. They never coped with that situation. And you tell them and you show them by example certain cues and certain things that were said to them growing up. And it brings their whole world down and they push back at you hard. Then you have some brothers out there who don't hold her accountable for nothing. She can say whatever the fuck she want and it's up to you black men to uplift and turn a hyena into a lioness. You're, it's not going to happen. It's, it's not going to happen. And this is where a lot of us suffer mentally because we're being taught to coddle and um, cultivate somebody who don't want to be led. You got somebody who's just mad antagonistic towards you for no reason at all. And a lot of you don't know how to handle that. I mean, I was talking to my neighbor yesterday. He's telling me he's a 62 year old man and he's at a car wash. He's a, he's a black man and he's at a car wash and a black woman walked past him, bumped him hard as shit, walked a few different feet past him, turned around and was like, you're not going to say excuse me. And he was like, look. You bumped it to me, but if I offended you in any way, I'm sorry I didn't mean it. And yeah, that's the problem. See, that's the problem with black men. They just kept walking. And a lot of black men are taught to take that on the chin and be like, yo, damn. These black women out here are angry. What have we done? What can we do to make them happy? Fuck that. Fuck that. You can't make them happy. Some people you can't take with you. This is why I tell a lot of these pro blackity black blacks, find who makes you happy and just call it a day. I'm, I'm sick of the whole thing. I'm not telling you to divest. I'm just saying stop trying to save everyone. You save what you who you can. Worry about your family. I got all these people all of a sudden there's all the, there's all these types of pro-black and all these types of woke. But the moment you put a bright-eyed biracial in front of them, they'll lose their fucking mind. You're full of shit. A lot of you are full of shit with that. See, I try to keep it transparent as fuck with you without telling you every single intricate detail in my life. I ain't no pro-black. I'm aware that I'm black. And it will never change. And I fucking love it. And just because I am aware and I am loving the fact that I'm a black man doesn't mean I have to put up with bullshit from my own people. Everything is that we got to put up with it. I shouldn't have to walk around my fucking neighborhood and see that there's four garbage cans, two on each corner, and there's still a whole bunch of trash around it. And be happy about that. If you niggas ain't got no sense of pride of where you come from or where you live, how are you going to raise the next generation? The same way you were brought up. And the cycle never ends. And you know what? Let me finish getting ready for work before I snap too much in this video because the same bullshit is here. And why does this have anything to do with how I started out this video is because these are a lot of the men who are either pushing back against a man in a suit, telling them some shit that their father never told them, some shit that they deem untrue, or you have a lot of them who just basically 
take this and they hang on to this man's word like the gospel. Me, I'm just there for the, the viral clips that I, I see that everybody posts when he's just going in on people. I find the shit fucking hilarious. But as for my daddy, no. My daddy's been in the grave for many years. Because I'm a fury, I'm out. Peace.